We are Sorted, a group of mates from London exploring the newest and best in the world of food whilst trying to have a few laughs along the way. <laughs> we've got chefs, we've got normals, and a whole world of stuff for you to explore, but everything we do starts with you. Hello, I'm Jamie, this is Ben, and this is Fridge Cam. And today we're digging in on the topic of single-use plastics within the food industry. Hashtag clickbait. And I have managed to get hold of a few samples, and we're going to put them to test. Are they any good or not? Big topic here. We've got lots of plastic replacement products we want you to review and give your thoughts on. You might notice that you actually had two cloches. The first, revealing the item it will not be made of plastic. The second will reveal what the plastic has been substituted with and what the product is made out of. And we'd like you to guess to see if you can work it out. Would you like to lift the cloche on your right? <laughs> Good job there. It's a massive plastic glove. It's a plastic glove. Is it? Usually single-use plastic. Used in food service industry, perhaps at home if you don't want to get spice or chilli or beetroot over things, and within the, the, the medical industry as well, but we're looking at kitchens. It's created by a company called Vegware, and they make bioplastics. Well, as is well known, using plastic gloves is less hygienic than using hands. Sorry, what? How? Because people tend to wash their hands less when they're using gloves because they don't realise that they've got sticky stuff on their hands. It's just on the gloves. Interesting. Usually I like my gloves a little tighter. What I can say is it's very tight on my middle finger. I didn't realise I had such a big middle finger. <laughs> it's because it's the one you exercise most. <laughs> <laughs> it acts a lot like plastic. I mean, in all honesty, that looks and feels like a plastic Glove. I'm going to take a stab, considering you've told me what the company's called, that it's made out of vegetables. Lift the cloche. That is representative of the ingredients in it, so sugar cane, corn, starch and other vegetable matter to produce bioplastics that are compostable. OK. What I like about it is all the heads off your spring onion that you don't use yeah. would go onto a compost heap. Well, they've just taken the compost heap and turned them into gloves, which then, after you've used them, can go on the compost heap. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Nice circle. That was quite dangerous. So it's compostable PLA material, polylactic acid, different from most thermoplastic polymers and then it's derived from renewable resources rather than non-renewable petroleum reserves. So it is bioplastic. It hasn't dissolved. My hand is nice and clean. It does do what it claims to do, right? It does, yes, it does do what it claims to do. Same company, Vegware, also make those compostable, still from bioplastics, vegetable matter, and they're very sturdy, hot and cold use. That's more impressive, because I hate, I hate wooden cutlery. Sometimes eating off wood isn't the nicest. No, it does impart flavour. Yeah. yeah, you're right, these feel really sturdy. Does it cost £20 per glove? So I've got a box here of powdered blue vinyl gloves, about 3p. A glove. Three pence per glove, okay. The ones you're holding there yep. are £103 for a case and you get 2,400 which makes them four pence per glove. A penny more or 30% more, 33% more, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything's you, relative. I'm yeah. sure people would work it into their budget, surely. One, one penny extra to an industrial scale. Yeah. This is something that's actually really cool to, to know about. Straw. Ooh. I'm trying to work out if they're chopsticks or straws. Or both. <gasps> now that is an invention. Chop straws. Two different straws, two different materials. If it helps you, I've got your gin and tonic and a smoothie if you want to give any of them a go. Excellent. This one seems bamboo-y. It's not bamboo. I think I know what this is. Is this a pasta straw? You don't know what that is. This one's a little more papery. I don't know, I just feel, find drinking out of that weird. It looks really organic. The two you have in front of you are both compostable and biodegradable. So yeah, we know that plastic straws are the enemy. We know there's lots of other versions that perhaps include glass or metal or bamboo that are reusable, but there's the problem of having to clean them each time. These are single use. I have not been in a bar that served a plastic straw for a while. What are you being served instead then? Paper. Okay. Ugh. Metal? Paper's you... awful. Yeah, a um, couple of metal ones. Tried metal straws. Don't like them, I, I 
don't like it. Oh, you get a very metallic taste. Yeah, nails are ting off your teeth. Yeah, it's not good. Metal straws are a nightmare because you can't tell if they're actually clean on the inside, so they're actually causing health and safety problems because they're not hygienic, because although they might have had a little brush up, they're not necessarily entirely clean. A brush up though. That was an unnecessary... <laughs> you didn't need to... There. At all. An awful lot of apples are juiced for apple juice, and once you've got rid of the juice, that produce with cider, you're left with stuff. And that stuff can be turned into that. They also say that that is edible. It softens over time, but that you can still use it as a straw, but that it should taste sour and sweet like apple. The other one, the paler one you see, is made from avocado stones. The company that make them, based in Mexico, use 15 tonnes of avocado stones a day that is otherwise <laughs> agricultural waste. That's decent. I've always wondered what you could do with avocado stones. And to be fair, these new companies are very secretive about their methods for obvious reasons. However, they talk about the positives of what they do use, not necessarily how they do it. But it is compostable. Do you think the organic nature of it is a positive selling point? I think the avocado one is more so because it just feels more like a plastic straw. It's like the solution to the problem rather than like the interim of paper. You know what the biggest difference that you could make teaching people how to drink from a glass does beg the question <laughs> what do we even need straws <laughs> there's a few people who need them because they have medical, medical or life-changing yeah, yeah. conditions that mean a straw is necessary yeah. absolutely maybe we should all just stop sucking and start sipping do you really care yeah yeah i would i would care enough to buy avocado stone straws over plastic straws, even though it's going to cost a little bit more cash. Apple fibre straws, they are currently selling a box of 500 for about 39 quid, which makes them eight pence a straw. Okay. Avocado stone straws, £8.99 for a box of 150, that makes them six pence a straw. It's a pass from me. Go for it, mate. What is that? I have absolutely no idea. It's something to keep things fresh. How do you know that? Because it says keep it fresh, keep it fresh, keep it fresh. What do you think it's made out of? Something and then beeswax. It's an alternative to cling film. Oh, it's clammy. Just out of interest, how often do you stroke cling film? Quite often, because you have to stroke it when you put it on things. Yeah. So yeah, actually, most days. <laughs> There's That's why your middle finger's so big. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, uh, among other things, a bread wrap. So it's perfect for wrapping up bread to keep it fresh rather than cling film. Instruction for use, the warmth from your hand will begin to soften the material and help to seal it in, cling it in. It was, it was more satisfying than I expected. It like sticks to itself a little bit. Yeah, actually for wrapping bread, it's, it seems quite good. What else would you wrap? Whoever cling films the bottom of a bowl. What are you doing? Well, I can't put it on the other side of the bowl because it'll give away what it's made of. Lasagna shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Yeah. You had a good guess at beeswax. It is made from 100% organic cotton. The, the kind of the resin, the stickiness comes from pine resin, sumac wax, sunflower wax, rice bran wax and other things. It is soy and palm oil free and is a vegan bread wrap. One of the things to consider, don't use it to wrap hot food, and if you're washing it, wash it in cold soapy water, not hot soapy water. I like the idea of this, actually. I like the idea of replacing cling film with something that's reusable. It doesn't feel to me like a multi-use alternative to cling film where you're gonna use it on different things at different points. Salads at a family barbecue, you might have five on the table. Yeah. You'd need five wraps. Need five wraps. How much do you reckon a wrap is, Jay? Oh, a fiver. Five pounds. Jay, that food wrap is 16 pounds. Whoa, okay. That's a lot. That's a lot of cling film. At Sorted, it would cost like hundreds of pounds to kit your kitchen out with this. So is that the barrier and, and therefore is this a no? I would just like one that doesn't have nice writing on it and that isn't vegan and that's five pounds. I like these products that are compostable and throw awayable with your other food waste. I like that because people are inherently lazy and that's something that these companies have aimed to solve. Go ahead, buddy. Pow, pow. Oh, is it a washing up brush? It's a 
scouring pad. Many of your uh, washing up materials are plastic. Obviously, you want something that's durable and hot, so water isn't going to dissolve and needs to be long-lasting. That is an alternative. What do you think? It seems all right. If it's not plastic, what is it? The tail of a beaver. I think the handle's definitely made of wood. Not lasagna? Not lasagna sheets. Uh. It's got some metal in it. It's hard bristles. I have no idea what the bristles are. I feel like I should know. Because... What do you mean, like that's a shoe brush or something? Yeah, I didn't want to say shoe brush because it makes me sound posh. But it reminds me of shoe brushes outside of a country house. Damn it! <laughs> to scrape your wellies before you go in kind of thing. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I think it's a twig. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Bamboo! <laughs> and that's grass, isn't it? <laughs> well, lift the cloche. This is an Australian brand, Eco Coconut, and it's made ethically in Sri Lanka from sustainable farmed coconut fibre, and then wrapped around stainless steel wire. Importantly, removes leftover residue, including the stubborn ones. Non-scratch, no plastic or toxic chemicals sustainable, naturally antibacterial and toxin-free, biodegradable, stroke recyclable. Basically, they have won a number of sustainability awards for their work. It's come all the way from Australia. I sound like a real prick when I say things like that. It is part of the bigger conversation because you find yourself in this murky, murky world of actually like from a lifelong perspective, how much more eco-friendly is that? But if you've got a startup and you're approaching the problem from that perspective. You're not gonna bother trying to innovate. And sometimes we need the Mavericks to innovate something. Yeah, they just happen to be in Australia, but if this is brilliant and it works and it solves a problem, then it will get replicated all over the world. Uh, well, how much? Genuinely, I think it should, like if it was a fiver, it'd probably be quite good. Seven dollars, so it's not far off a fiver. Oh, it's a fiver. I would never have known about it unless you put it in front of me though. Like I'm active, I wouldn't actively search out a, an alternative to what I'm used to because I didn't really see a problem with it until now. Isn't it interesting how plastic straws become a conversation, which you might go to a bar once or twice a week and use plastic straws, but the plastic that you probably use once or twice a day in your sink, go people unnoticed. don't necessarily consider. So when it comes to it, what are you not willing to compromise on with a plastic replacement? I haven't found that I'm not willing to compromise on anything because I don't really have a choice. Like if I go to a bar and they serve paper straws, it's that or no straw. So it's not what I'm willing to compromise on, it's like what I have to compromise on there. Functionality. Everything has been about making things better. The hardest thing is now trying to tell people, you know, that thing that you really love that's made your life better and easier and more luxurious and thing, we're gonna take that away from you. I'm willing, I'm willing to compromise on costs. Within reason. For me, products like this, you have to take a step forward. And if you start digging into everything, you're gonna find some pitfalls. However, we need to act and do something. And if you can educate yourself to the point where you're able to make a decision, which could just be, I'm no longer gonna buy a plastic washer-upper, I'm gonna go buy one of these. And if enough people act and do something, no matter how small, there are seven billion people in the world that will make a difference. Yeah. And if whilst that's happening, all the protests and awareness is, is being raised so that the policy makers are making a difference, you meet in the middle and then you actually start to make a big difference. We are the ones that make the policy makers listen yeah. because we essentially vote them into power and we buy their products. And if we all start kicking off, they're gonna have to change something. And I feel like that's what we're on the cusp of at the moment, which is exciting. And that's why as a group of mates, and with our channel, we should be talking about these things. Give the video a like if you enjoyed watching us test these products and we want to know your opinions because this is a massive topic. We felt like we covered a lot of ground, but comment down below which of these plastics should we be prioritising the elimination of or what will and won't you be prepared to compromise on or do you even care? Comment down below. Not only that, but we also got proper stuck into this topic on our podcast, Feast Your Ears. You can get all the details for that and how to join the Sorted Club downstairs. But one thing you don't have to go away for is Dad Jack of the Week. I love the fact you're, <laughs> you're giggling already, you haven't even told me yet. Went for a curry with a friend the other day. He kept choking every time he had a bite of rice. Turns out he's basmatic. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> have a good week everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. As we mentioned, we don't just make top quality YouTube videos. No. We've built the Sorted Club, where we use the best things we've learned to create stuff that's hopefully interesting and useful to other food lovers. Check it out if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in a few days.
are we going to be missing out on the avocados that could be grown that aren't now being planted? So your argument is, if we <laughs> what make the out of the stones, we're going to run out of avocados and therefore run out of stones. That is the same argument to say that every time you eat an apple, do you send the seeds back to be replanted? <laughs> what an idiot. This is why we have a normal <laughs> and a chef.